I think people who are caregiving, looking after their children, their spouses, their mothers and fathers, they all know, my God, the fear that attacks you when you have to care give. You don't know whether you want to take the job or you don't want to take the job or you want to run away or how you're going to handle it. It's a lonely, lonely world and it puts you into a deep depression and anxiety because you fall into a hole that you cannot explain. In recent years, there are a lot of awareness on mental health issues and often we focus on the patients. But let's not forget about the caregivers. They are under tremendous amount of stress and if not managed properly, the caregivers may encounter issues of their own. And that's why we have CAL. CAL, which stands for Caregivers Alliance Limited, is a non-profit organisation dedicated to meeting the needs of caregivers. Established in 2011, CAL provides education, support network and training programs to help caregivers cope with their new roles. So the very first time I became a caregiver, it was when I just happened to want to step out of the house to go to office and I see my father, a trembling, breathless. He was suffering, he gripped me and he said, help me, help me, I think I'm getting a heart attack. And that's when I knew that, my God, you know, you have to do something. At that stage of your life, you ask yourself, who else is there but for you to help? Dr. Rinku's father suffered three heart attacks before he passed away. Very often, family members are caught unprepared and do not know how to handle the situation. And in the case of Dr. Rinku's mother, her own condition went downhill. And my mom went into this freeze zone. She couldn't accept what happened. She got angry about the whole thing. And that led to something that happened to her as well. She got into a depression straight away when she heard about the double heart attack. She stopped functioning. When he passed, after a couple of depression stints for my mom, skin diseases, cataract operations, she got into a stage of dementia. So now she lives with a condition on advanced dementia, which is where I got to know Cal. At Cal, Dr. Rinku found the training and education that she didn't realize she needed. So I was so grateful because I never knew there were so many types of dementia. I didn't know there was a Alzheimer versus a vascular, which my mom has. I didn't know there was a Lewy body. I didn't know there were early signs of dementia, which this program helped me to realize. My mom had so many early signs. I didn't see it. Understanding early signs of dementia would have helped me in a big way to have maybe managed the situation with myself and her better, right? Otherwise, she wouldn't have leaped to it so quickly. All the programs at Cal come at no cost for the caregivers. But even then, Zalifa from Cal shared with me that caregivers are sometimes reluctant to come and seek for help. Um, I think it's more about to do about self-stigma we don't really see mental health as something that we can talk about freely. And because of that, we self-stigmatise. So that's a bit challenging. So sometimes that's why when we talk to caregivers, it's actually the shift in mindset. If they can make the shift in mindset, they can support their loved ones better. When you go into a low road and the downward spiral and you let stress take over you, you will first hit the cognitive level of confusion and then you spiral right down. Dr. Rinku now conducts sharing and training sessions under Cal and her advice is that self-care is very important in building your resilience as a caregiver. It'll never be back to where it was. So to me, resilience is you recover from that shock, able to move on again. You can't just stop life, you gotta move on, right? So work and caregiving and everything else along the way will not go away, the demands will not go away, right? but your capacity needs to be built so you can manage that demand. And I always say to people, please, huh, don't say you've got no time. Don't say, I've got no time, my father's sick, my child is uh, she's, she's, uh, mentally challenged, my mother is like this, I've got no time to attend such programs, I've got no time to understand that there's such a, a great organization out there to help you and support you. No time, no time. I want to live this lonely world by myself. Don't do that, don't go there. Because at the end of the day, 
what's the point? Your body physiology breaks down. You break down, your emotions break down. You can't help them anymore. You can't help yourself anymore. It's times like this that people help you to realize the bigger picture. In life, we're often thrown situations that we're totally not prepared for. And if we're not careful, we will end up in the dark valleys. The important thing is, if we do end up there, how do we bounce back up? So for caregivers out there, if you find yourself in such a situation, or even before that, do come to Cal and seek out the support that you need. This is City Joe Abbey from Singapore One.